Hey y'all, today I wanted to chat with you about a few tips and tricks I picked up while playing My Time at Sandrock, both in early access and in the full release. These tips are geared towards the early game experience, and if you're looking to see some gameplay or just want to see the story in action, make sure you check out my full release Let's Play that I'll link in the description of this video. Tip number one, your machines run off your water tank and that if they don't have water to keep them cool, they do not work. So make sure your water tank has water in it at all times. I'd highly suggest researching the dew collector with Chi as early as possible so you can start to farm getting water early. You'll also need water for growing crops, which you will need to do for story stuff later on. So getting a surplus of water early is highly, highly recommended. Also, before you go to bed, make sure your water tank has at least some water in it so you can make sure everything is running while you sleep. Next is the moment that you get data disks, go and visit Chi. Do not delay, go see the space obsessed scientist. He's where you're going to get all of your machine blueprints from and you really don't want to be caught without some of the basic ones. I'd highly suggest researching the processor and grinder first as they each only take a day then the dew collector, and then the workshop table upgrade. After that, it's really personal preference, but getting those four things researched ASAP will allow you to complete early quests with minimal fuss. Now, speaking of machines, your assembly station is one of, if not the only thing that can't be upgraded via cheese research in the early game. You have to do that at Construction Junction, where you can do things like upgrade your house, add on a stable, barn, etc. To upgrade the assembly station, click on it and then click on upgrade and you'll see what you need in order to do so. It does require some materials that you don't get super early in game, so you're in no particular rush to upgrade it. However, it's something worth keeping an eye on. Now, this is one of my favorite tips. There's actually an appearance of versus equipment option in the game. So you can equip all the latest and greatest gear and have a cosmetic appearance if you prefer that outfit. You want to navigate over to your character sheet where you equip gear. Then above your character's head, you'll see a little toggle switch. The main interface you're on is the main equipment set. And then when you switch the toggle, it's the cosmetic one. Once you're happy with your cosmetic outfit to make sure it's working, under your character's feet, you'll see a little box that you can tick that says apply outfit. And you should see now that you are wearing your cosmetic outfit. Because you're in the desert, wood is scarce, so if you can help it, don't use wood to fuel your machines. I default to using dregs and then power stones and then wood if I absolutely have to. Trust me when I say you're going to need that wood in the coming days to build stuff, so don't waste it on fueling everything. In the later game, it might be a little different, but at least for the first two months or so, stick to dregs if you can. I know, I know, this one is a typical farming, building sim tip but this is one of those i wish i did it earlier during early access and that is start collecting herbs and plants as early as possible and get a little stockpile going it's a great way to use up last minute stamina before bed if you have any and having a nice bundle of sand leaks lavender etc will make your life so so much easier down the road especially because there are random quests that ask for these items the pet system does take a bit to open up in game However, whether you can adopt a pet is dependent on your friendship level with them. So if there's a pet roaming around that you want to potentially adopt, make sure you start early to at least talk to them daily or maybe even give them gifts. And yes, I will adopt the derpy cat macchiato if it is the last thing that I do in this game. If you're like me and fashion is endgame, you might not be a fan of the tired eye look you get if you normally stay up past midnight. Good news, there is now a perk that will get rid of it for you. Under the gathering skill tree, you just need to level up the stamina knowledge perk to its full rank three and you should be good to go. Once you start getting higher level machine blueprints, you have two options. You can either build a new one, which is what I default to, or you can upgrade them. When you click in to build something, there's an additional tab at the top that if you select, will show you what you need in order to upgrade the machine. You can even preview this without having the blueprint ready to go to upgrade it. This helps to save space and in some cases resources depending on what you have on hand. If you have stuff to claim in your mail but have literally no space for it, leave it in your mailbox. There is, as far as I know, no limit to how long it can stay in there, so just leave it. Grab it when you have space for it. This is especially useful for anyone who might have one or all of the DLCs as the outfits do come with a lot of items. Lastly, and this is a I will die on this hill tip and trick, scrap 
is king in this game. Wood scrap, machine scrap, copper scrap, eventually other kinds of scrap, but it's all really, really useful. So you start collecting it and breaking it down ASAP. You can find it in a variety of places and you can never go wrong in the early days having a lot of it. I would also suggest having two to three recycler machines built to handle all the scrap that you are collecting so you aren't wasting time in breaking it all down for materials. And there you have it, just a few of my favorite tips for your early in-game time in my time at Sandrock. Thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time.